Hello, everybody. Time now for my 2016 college football Final Four prediction. We're talking about the playoff preview show, and here we are in late August speculating who we think the four teams are going to be come the weekend of December 3rd slash 4th. When on that Sunday, the committee will decide the four teams that will be standing tall and playing in the Peach Bowl and in the Fiesta Bowl and the winners of those games playing in the championship game January 9th in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium for all the marbles. Well, the first team I've got picked to go is going to be Clemson. The Tigers, Deshaun Watson and company, a lethal offense, and a team coached by Dabble Sweeney that last year had an undefeated regular season that came close to winning the national title. There's too many weapons on this team for them not to make another charge, and the ACC will be challenging with the likes of Louisville and happen to play uh, Florida State at Duke Campbell, but I think Clemson is able to handle the challenge. They've got enough skill and, of course, the experience from last year. I look for Clemson to not only get to the Final Four, I look for them to go undefeated. And taking a look at Alabama, yes, they were there last year defending national champions. It doesn't matter, you know, how many players they lose from the year before. They find a way to not only reload with the, what they've got, but also, too, the newcomers. They managed to get them um, acclimated into playing high-level college football. And I do think Bama's going to lose one game. After all, it's going to be the um, SEC that you have to contend with. But they seem to really play their best ball during the second half of the season and get stronger, and I look for Bama to overtake Tennessee twice this year, once in Knoxville and also for the uh, SEC Championship in Atlanta. Now, the third team I have picked to go, well, this team right here, and you might be saying, well, this is a homer pick. Okay, you can call it what you will, but let's face it, with Baker Mayfield with a solid ground attack, you know, with P. Ryan and with Mixon, uh, with enough pieces, you know, on the offensive line uh, to really make another charge at winning the Big 12 championship. I think Oklahoma not having to play that conference championship game helps. Of course, next year that will be a different story. Bottom line, though, is I do think that the Sooners, despite uh, the fact that I do think they'll lose one game, will be helped by the fact uh, of their offense, the fact that they, that they were there last year, plus the tough non-conference schedule with the likes of Houston and Ohio State, who currently are in the top 15. That's a good non-conference schedule. In the case of Ohio State, they're in the top five. I look for Oklahoma to go 11 and 1, win the Big 12. And even though they don't have a conference title game, I look for that final regular season day, December 3rd, when others are playing conference title games. I look for the Sooners to make a good showing against Oklahoma State and Bedlam and leave a lasting impression for the committee that they'll really take into an account come December 4th when the committee decides the four. And speaking of the four, the fourth and final team I've got going, well, this is going to surprise a lot of people, okay? But I'm going to really go off the board in this case. Michigan State, reason Mark D'Antonio can coach, period. And you know something? He, he did lose some players, but he also, too, um, has a terrific running game. Michigan State's always going to be good defensively, and I like their schedule getting Michigan and Ohio State at home. I think that's a very important. I think Tyler O'Connor will handle the role of being the starting QB quite well. Hey, he went into the Ohio State game last year on the road and handled the pressure well after Connor Cook got hurt. So I look for O'Connor to lead Michigan State, and I look for the defense to be just fine. Good coaching will go a long way. And I think Michigan State will win the Big Ten. They'll lose a the game, but I think they'll win the Big Ten and be that fourth team. So what I think will happen, I think Clemson will be the number one seed, and I think Michigan State will be the number four. And I think they'll play at the Peach Bowl for one semifinal on New Year's Eve. Clemson is just going to have way too much offense in this one, and I think they will beat Michigan State, and I think they'll beat them comfortably. In the other semifinal, which I think will be at the Fiesta Bowl in Glendale between Bama and Oklahoma, two traditional powers, and of course, Sooner fans will reference the Sugar Bowl from a few years ago, in which OU upset Bama. But Bama this time, I think the receivers will be um, really one of the differences in the game. Plus, I also think, too, that uh, the Bama front seven will present a lot of problems for Oklahoma. Competitive game, but I've got Bama winning this one in the fourth quarter. So my national championship pick for Raymond James Stadium, January 9th for the whole marbles. I think Clemson gets revenge this time. I think uh, Deshaun Watson, who played well in last year's game, I think this time he comes out of this game with the W and for Dabo Sweeney, who of course played for the Tide, now he will have a win over the Tide in the national championship game. Alabama is going to be very good, but Clemson, to me, it's unfinished business. I think they win. I think they become the first ever college football team in Division I history to go 15-0. So I got Clemson, 
to win it all. That's my look at my prediction for the college football playoff in 2016. But then again, what do I know, right? It's just a prediction, okay? So please save the uh, hate mails for another time. Thanks for watching, everybody.